What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to add pipe using manual layout. Okay, so last video on our uh, mechanical piping system, we have learned how to add pipe using auto layout. Okay, so this time around in this exercise, we're going uh, we are going to manually lay out piping to create a closed loop system. So we are going to tile a plan view and a 3D view to simultaneously create the pipe, the physical connections, and validate the pipe geometry. And then to create the piping system, what we are going to do is we are going to connect the boiler to the return piping. So as you can see, we have a boiler here. So we are going to connect the base mounted pumps in the parallel to the system. So we have couple of uh, base mounted pumps here and then we are going to add piping to close the supply loop and then last we're going to connect the cooling tower into the supply system to maintain the closed loop okay so let's do this so as you can see we are on level 3 HVAC plan design so what we are gonna do is I'm gonna open the 3d HVAC building let me double click that and then let me just zoom into this part and then I'll just click this boiler here. I'll just rotate a little to see it like this. Okay, and then I'll go back again to my floor plan and then I'll use the tile views or you can type WT. So I click that one so I can have my views here. Okay, so let me just close the project browser, the system browser, and then the property so that I have a bigger screen. Okay, now the first uh, part of the exercise that we will be doing is we're going to modify the return piping to accommodate the supply piping. Okay, so as you can see here in our 3D view, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this uh, fitting there so I'm gonna use a window selection like that okay so after I selected these two elements I'm going to delete that so you can type DE to delete that one okay so in the 3d view this is now how it looks like okay so what I'm gonna do here in the three uh, in the floor plan view rather I'm going to select this and then after that I'm going to move that above by let's say four inches so select that and then I'll use the move tool I click somewhere here move the cursor up and then I type four inches symbol and then enter and there you go and then I select here modify okay to terminate the selection okay so as you can see in the 3d view this is now how it looks like okay and by the way, we have how many connectors we have here in this boiler? So we have several connectors here. So one, two, three, four, five. So we have five connectors here. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'll just rotate this like this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the boiler. And then I'm going to use here connect into. So it creates a physical connection between a selected component and a duct or pipe. So I'm going to select this one, connect into, and then it will show me here the connectors available on this uh, boiler. So as you can see, we have five connectors here. So we have connector for hydronic supply, hydronic return, other connector for gas, for exhaust air, and also for sanitary. Okay, so we use the connect into tool on components with connectors to automatically create piping between the component and the existing system. So this tool automatically creates the appropriate fittings. Now on the select connector, so I'm going to use here the return. So I'm going to select connector to hydronic return round two inches cold water in flow direction so I'm gonna select that and then I'll just select your okay and then after that I'm gonna select this uh, pipe here there you go right and then I'll just select here modify okay so you can see now that the connections are automatically created and the boiler is connected to the return piping so using the connect into tool 
ensures that if the connection is successful, flow will propagate through the connecting pipe and be assigned to the appropriate system based on the connector to which it is connected. Okay? Right. Now, the next part of the exercise is we're going to connect the primary base mounted pump to the boiler. So as you can see here, we have uh, two pumps here. Okay, so two base mounted pumps is part of our system. So the top uh, base mounted pump in the plan view is the primary and then the lower one is the secondary. So an automatic flow bulb will be used to direct the flow from the boiler to the two pumps. Okay, so I'm going to select the boiler here. Let me just zoom out like this in the 3D view. Oops. There you go. So there's my boiler, there's my primary, and then the secondary. Okay, so here on the plan view, so I'm going to right-click the grip that represents the supply connector, and I'm going to draw a pipe. Okay, so how to do that? So as you can see here, I'm going to right-click that node. So I'm going to right-click that, and then I'm going to select draw pipe. Okay, so after I select the draw pipe, okay, by the way, in our plan view here, if a component has two connectors that are not connected to piping, so you need to select the first connector. Okay, the select connector dialog displays prompting you to select the return or the supply connector. Okay, but since we already have a connection, we already have a connection here, so there is no dialog box that appears anymore because if this one is not yet connected, so there is the dialog box that will appear and then you need to select there the connector that you would like to use. Okay, so you need to select connector 1 because this one is uh, connector 2. Anyway, so this is now how it looks like. So what I'm going to do is, by the way, if you're using a lower version of Revit, you can... Press space bar on the plan view. Okay, you can press space bar to acquire the offset and pipe diameter values from the connector. Okay, I think it's still the same in the newer version. So while you are uh, not yet connecting your pipe, you can press space bar to acquire the offset and pipe diameter values from the connector here. Okay. So I already pressed the space bar and then let us now draw the piping. So I'm going to move my cursor to the right here and then I'm going to type 2. Just 2 and then enter. So that means 2 feet. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to, let's say I want to adjust the height of the pipe that I will be creating. So that's why I'm going to change here the middle elevation. So I'm going to type there 1 is space. 7 so that means 1 foot 7 inches enter okay so after that i'm going to add another uh, 2 feet section of pipe to the right okay so i change first the offset look what will happen here on on my 3d view so i'm going to move my pointer to the right and then i'll just type 2 and then enter there you go so as you can see my pipe there was now uh, created. Okay. So I'm now going to select modify here to terminate the tool. Okay. So there's our offset down 1 foot 7 inches if I'm not mistaken. So that is what we have done. So that's why from here it goes down. And then we have another 2 feet here. Okay. So that's why we have a drop there. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to select the primary pump here, the primary base pump. And then I'm going to use again the connect into. So I select the connect into. Let me just zoom out. Okay. All right. Then going back to the floor plan. Okay. So here, so I'm going to select connect into. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to use here a uh, connector to. Okay, so I'm going to use connector 2. Again, there is a 2 connector available for us to use here on my base mounted pump. That's why I have the select connector 
um, dialog box. So I use the connector two, and then I said I just select OK. Okay, and then after that, I'm now gonna click this pipe that we just created. And there you go. Okay. This is now how it looks like. Right? Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is let us try to um, adjust our connectors here. So let me just pick this one. So let me just use the arrow on my keyboard just to adjust the connection here. Maybe something like this. Okay, and then I just select modify. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this fitting. So currently it's elbow. So I'm going to select that elbow and then I'll select this plus sign here to make that T fittings. Okay, and then we are going to... Um, by the way, if you want to downgrade it back to elbow, just click again and then click the minus sign. Just like that, right? So I click that one. And then just plus. Right? And then um, we are going to create a pipe here. So click that T fitting. Right click that node. Let's create a pipe here. Okay. And then let's move our pointer until it snaps. Somewhere here. Or maybe what I'm going to do is, um, let me try another way. Okay, so from this one, I'll try to do it here in the 3D view. So I will uh, click this and then right click that, draw a pipe. Okay, and then I'll just create a, st a straight pipe here. And then I select here modify. So you can do that as well in the 3D view. And then uh, instead, I can just delete this. I delete that one and then I'll use uh, trim extend to corner I click this one and then this one here and then I'll use uh, trim extend single element so I click here and then this one here there you go so that's another way to do that so you can do that in the 3d view right okay so so how it looks like so there you go now let us connect the base mounted pumps in parallel okay so in our plan view here so let us select the primary base mounted pump and then i'm going to right click this um, discharge uh, connector here and let's draw pipe so right click draw pipe again you can do that in the 3d view okay and then before i pick because as you can see, this is how it looks like. So we need to adjust the offset of this before we pick to that part. So we need to adjust the offset here on the middle elevation. So I just type 4. That is 4 feet. And then enter. Okay, and then after that, so I'm now going to click this one here. And there you go. Then select modify. Right. Notice that that you do not have to draw two vertical pipes to connect the pumps. Okay, so these pumps connect the uh, connections were created automatically after we click that node there. Okay, so we have two vertical pipes here and then the horizontal pipe. Now um, we are going to add to create a closed uh, loop system. Okay, so we need to close that. So I'm going to um make let's say the pump here so i select this pump and then i make it uh t okay so in the 3d view this is now how it looks like so i can click that t fittings let me just zoom out so you can see in the 3d view and then go back again to the floor plan so let's right click that oops draw pipe okay and then we are going to connect that. Before we connect, by the way, so we need to change the height because we are going to connect that to this uh, pipe here. Okay. But if I'm going to cancel this first, so you can see that 
this pipe, the height of that is 9 foot 6 inches. So that is where we want to connect the pipe that we will be creating from this uh, T-fitting. So I'm going to select this T-fittings. Oops, sorry. Click that. Right click. Draw a pipe. Oops, cancel that. And then let's change the elevation here. So 9 is space 6, enter. And then let's move. And then let's click now this. And there you go. And then select modify. Right? Okay. So it's now connected. So it's now closed. Right. So we now have a closed loop system. So the next thing that you can do is, if you want, you can validate the flow through the system if it is correct. So I'm going to right click to open up the properties. Okay. And then um, I'm going to select the secondary base mounted pump. So I select this one. And then here on the properties, you will notice the, the pump flow here is 62.5, right? So it's 62.5. So if I'm going to select the other one, the other pump here, so it's also 62.5, right? So if I'm going to select this uh, pipe here, so I click that pipe. So you can see that the flow here is 125. So it's correct. Okay, so in the instance properties, you can see that the parameter here on my pump, let's, let me select the pump. So the flow pack, uh, factor there is 0.5 or 50% of the flow. Okay, so 62.5 plus 62.5, so that is 125 because we have two pumps here, right? So this is also 62.5 and then the flow factor is 0.5. That's why if I click this one, the total is uh, 125, which is correct. So we have a working system, okay? Now, the next thing that we're going to do is let me just select modify to terminate the selection or deselect the selection. So we're going to connect the cooling tower. So here in the 3D view, so this is our cooling tower. So if I'm going to select this one and then check the properties, you can see that the cooling water flow here is zero. Why? Because currently, if you will notice here in our 3D view, the flow is not currently passing through the cooling tower because it is not yet connected to the hydronic piping system. You see? So we only have this cooling tower and then these pipes here that is not connected, you see? That's why you can see that this cooling tower, it has a zero cooling water flow. Okay, so that's why we're going to connect these two pipes to our pipe here. So that is what we're gonna do. So these two pipes here, okay? So these two pipes, okay? So these two pipes, so we're going to connect here. Okay, so very simple. So we are just going to use a uh, trim multiple element. Just go to the modify and then select trim extend multiple elements. Let's select the pipe where we want to extend the two pipes and then select now the two pipes that we want to connect. There you go. That's it. Okay, so you can now see that the cooling tower, if you are going to check the properties, it already propagates the flow through the inlet and outlet connectors. So it's now connected here. So if again, if you're going to select the cooling tower, so you can now check again here. So you can see that the cooling water flow now here is 125 GPM. Right, so both pipes for the cooling tower are automatically connected to the piping, uh, to the piping system. Okay, and then you can see here on the properties that the flow is propagating correctly through our cooling tower. Okay, now that's it for this exercise. For our next video, what we are going to learn is we're going to add valves to our uh, model. Okay, so but for now, hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.
Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.